Friday friends and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, the intro of this video probably looks a little different. My oldest son Rylan turned 10 this last weekend that you guys are watching this and of course we threw a party here at the house. I have an offer to take him to Disneyland or Legoland but he is so sweet and said that he wanted a party at the house with family so that's exactly what we did. But of course, um, family parties or entertaining at your home always comes with a mess, which is totally fine to be honest with you, but I decided to pick up the camera and take you all along this process of the aftermath of the birthday party. So if you need a lot of cleaning motivation, maybe you may not have had a party, but your house is a mess, um, I've got you covered today and let's dive right in. I love a good before and after in cleaning motivation videos. I love seeing a space go from a complete disaster to just beautiful and comfortable and cozy and clean. So that's why I wanted to just take a few shots of what we were actually going to be working on today. Of course, the main entertaining space is the kitchen and the family room. We were in the backyard swimming. And as I'm filming this video, my husband was actually working out in the backyard. And then of course, um, we will be moving into our downstairs guest bathroom as well. I love to go in and clean a bathroom before and after I have guests just to get everything clean and back to square one. And believe me when I tell you guys, when I went to bed last night with this mess, it just like ate at me so hard, even after the party and it was a long day and I was exhausted. All I wanted to do is come in here and clear these counters and throw away these tablecloths and just really, really dive in here and get everything clean. I do not like going to bed with a messy house, but I knew that I wanted to film this for you all. So I just put it aside and went upstairs and went to bed. And this is really early. I was actually done cleaning and filming by 10 a.m. the next day. I basically took the boys to school, immediately pulled out my camera, threw on a hat and just dived right in. It's so crazy how even just this kitchen island can make a space look so messy and it's just a small part of the downstairs. Um, but even with just clearing this off, the kitchen looks 10 times better and I can already feel the stress and anxiety just rolling off my shoulders because um, I've shared with you all before, messes definitely add to or even just give me in general stress and anxiety and that's why I love making these videos for you all. Having a clean home just helps me to be able to be more relaxed and patient and just be honestly a better mom and wife and friend. So let me know down below if you guys are the same way, if having a clean space just calms you. We 
did get Costco pizza and Olive Garden breadsticks and then I made up a kale poppy seed salad and that is what we served for lunch at the birthday party. So good. Let me know if you guys have ever had the pizza from Costco. I'm sure you have but it is so affordable for a party. It is a huge pizza for under $10. And then I just did an order in for Olive Garden breadsticks and it was amazing. So good, budget friendly. It can easily serve a lot of people and who doesn't like pizza and breadsticks? The other thing I love about it is it makes for a really easy cleanup. So this bowl I used for the two really big packs of salad that I also picked up from Costco. And then these cake um, trays that I had put out with Ryland's cake on it. And then we just served cupcakes. And then the ice cream cups that come with like the little nostalgic wooden spoon. It just made everything so easy. A lot of stuff was able to be just thrown in the trash bin and it made for very minimal dishes. From my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter Anytime I entertain or have dishes in the sink overnight or maybe my garbage disposal um, has been used a lot from having parties like this, I love to give it a good scrub and then also take an essential oil like this one lemon and just do a few drops down the garbage disposal and just get everything smelling nice and clean and I feel like the lemon scent fills the whole kitchen. Anytime there's a season change and I bring out decor or in this circumstance decorate for a party, I take decor away so I can put other decor out. So I cleared my whole island space so that way I could put the tablecloth down and have an area to display all of the food and then we had an adult beverage little station on here and so I just put my decor that's usually here on the island in my decor cabinets and then now that everything's clean I can bring everything back out but I feel like it just helps everything feel less cluttered and that way I'm not adding decor on top of other decor. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, the kids were at school. This was actually a Monday. And then my husband was home from work and he was working out in the backyard. And I'm in Southern California and it gets really hot in the summer where I'm at. Like it was over 100 degrees this day. So my poor husband was like overheated from working in the yard. So he came in and was cooling off under the fan in the family room while I was filming this. And I will say, if you have to really dive in and get your hands dirty and clean, it is so nice to have somebody to kind of like conversate with and be able to like keep you company. Surprise. 
So my son turned 10. I cannot even believe you guys that I have a 10 year old, a decade, double digits. I just am still just honestly, I cried um, in the best way. Obviously, I want my kids to grow up healthy and strong. That's nothing more that I could wish for. But at the same time, your mom heart just knows that time is just going by way too quickly. But um, of course, as any kid that has a birthday party, he got so many presents. And that means that I get to bring all of these new gifts upstairs and then we get to go through their play area together. And we love to go through toys that maybe they don't play with anymore and donate to make room for the new ones. I also love to share that also when you entertain, sometimes you can find random water bottles around the house. So instead of pouring them out, we are in a drought here where I live. And so I love to just take them out to my potted plants and then pour the open water bottles in the pot. Since we did party on Sunday versus doing a Sunday routine, prepping for a new week and doing laundry and doing things around the house, we had fun. So that means now that Monday is here, I got to get caught up on the laundry that I normally would have done on Sunday, which is really no big deal. Like I said, my husband was home. So he's in the background of this video helping out. He actually ended up upstairs for a while because when we have friends over with kids, they usually end up in the playroom and we all know what that can look like. So he was kind of tackling the upstairs and around the house in the background as I was getting other things done down here filming. We had a pretty good group of people over and so my floors took a beating, of course especially in the kitchen because of the food and drink, but also we do have a pool in the yard and there were a lot of people swimming and even though people dry off, you know, sometimes just some wet does get on the floor and then dirt and whatever sticks and then dries to the floor. So they were looking pretty crummy, so I am just taking my Tenko. This is vacuuming and mopping at the same time. I've shared this so many times in my video, but just so you guys know what I'm doing in case maybe you're new here, this is vacuuming and mopping my floors. And I'm actually going to do my whole downstairs um, because people were hanging out in the family room because it was so hot outside. Um, and cooling off in here and then of course um, in the dining room and in the kitchen and all over so it was definitely worth my time to give them a good cleaning um, I didn't want to clean everything else and then leave the floors a mess
kitchen and dining room are clean top to bottom. It feels really nice to have that done. Like I said, I literally had a hard time going to sleep last night knowing that my house looked like that. And I hate coming down in the morning to not only just a mess, but I mean, to a mess of that capacity, um, especially on a Monday. You always want to start like your Mondays off um, on the best foot as possible. So it's definitely not the way that I wanted to start my morning. But again, I knew that I wanted to film it for you guys. And now going back and editing this and getting ready to put this up on my channel, I'm so glad that I waited. But that's all clean. And now we are actually into my family room area. Here's the area where our family um, and friends have put the gifts that they brought for our sweet Rylan. And so he opened presents in here and then we did do a pinata and all the kids were in here um, crisscross applesauce watching him open presents and eating the candy from the pinata. So there was some trash on the ground and just some things in here that needed to be tidied up. Party planning and getting decorations can really add up really quickly. And I decided to go on Amazon and some of my local stores. I even went to Hobby Lobby. They have a great party section, by the way, very affordable pinatas. You can grab one for like 10 bucks. Um, but I did these balloon bouquets myself. I just got a little helium tank. Um, they sell them right at Target. Um, but I was a little sad because I just blew up these helium balloons the day before and they were already so sad looking. So instead of keeping them, that was my alarm to get my kids from school, but um, instead of being able to keep them and enjoy them, I was really sad that I had to go ahead and take them down. We did salvage the robot balloons though. So those were the most important and like fun ones that my boys really liked anyways. Um, but I was kind of sad that my balloon bouquets didn't last a little longer than they did. Sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain. Turn around and let it rain on me. Don't you be afraid. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Oh. Like a mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free 
I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like you know where you fit me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end I just love this song it's so catchy so i hope you all enjoyed that little music break as you guys can see we are now moving into the guest bathroom and i'm going to come in here and do a serious wipe down since it was used a lot having company over i also wanted to share this little cleaning hack that i'm going to be trying for the first time today i don't know if you all have heard of the channel brianne walter her channel is cleaning motivation just like mine and I noticed in her videos she uses coffee filters instead of a rag or paper towel and she swears by them and I can say that it actually works really really well especially in combination with the sprayway cleaner and then just a normal old coffee filter I would even maybe grab a pack from the Dollar Tree and it did a really really good job I wanted to say thank you for all of your kindness on my last couple of videos. I came in here and shared my small bathroom makeover and then we came back in here and then did some decorating and you guys were just so kind. I seriously could not ask for a sweeter community. There can be so much negativity online, but not here. You guys are just so thoughtful and so kind and great cheerleaders. So thank you so much for the love on that video. If you guys missed it, I will have it linked down below. But I'm just going to empty out the trash can in here and we're going to close up shop on cleaning on today's video. So thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. I would love if you could hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Also, I would love to have you here on my channel and subscribe and stay tuned for a lot of really fun videos to come. Let me know down below in the comments when you guys would like to see seasonal content like fall and Halloween, and then I will get that on the schedule for you all. So thank you again for being here with me today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye friends.